What is your biggest? Wait, why the heck did I do this? Autopilot moment. I was filling up a salt shaker over the sink so I didn't spill any salt anywhere. As soon as I filled up the salt shaker, I immediately turned it over and dumped all the salt in the sink. It was extremely deliberate, and I have no idea why I did it. I've done this while cracking eggs. I got the bowl next to the sink, crack the egg on the side of the sink, open it directly over the drain, and then stare at the drain for several seconds after the egg has slimed down into the pipes, wondering how this isn't the first time I've done this. In middle school, I went to my locker to get my books for the last class of the day, French. Autopiloted my jacket and bag, went home an hour early. I did the same thing back in seventh grade. I thought second to last period was last period, left an hour early, and caught myself before I got on the train because I didn't see anyone in the station that I knew. I had mouthwash in my mouth and went to look for something in the vanity drawer. I opened it and, out of reflex when I looked down, spat all the mouthwash into it, all over cotton buds, band-aids, my nail clippers, etc. I woke up kind of thirsty, but I thought I'd do my morning routine before grabbing a glass of water. While I was using mouthwash, I got distracted and swallowed it. A good thing it wasn't a large amount. My route to college takes me past my old high school. Without fail, at least once a year, I'll turn into the parking lot at the high school, try to park in my space and then realize I graduated in 2008. You've been going to college for eight years? Yep, he keeps having to repeat classes because he goes to high school instead of lectures. I've been waking up at 4.30 to 5 FM for school since I was about 10. When I was around 12, I woke up, went to the bathroom to pee, took my shirt off as I was peeing, and after I was done, threw my shirt in the toilet, only to realize two seconds later what I had done. Why did you have to wake up that early when you were 10? I had to get up that early as well. We had early morning classes that started at 6, and I lived 15 minutes out of town, so I was usually up by 5. I put my cereal back in the fridge with the milk after I make breakfast. I once poured cereal into my full cup of coffee, then wondered why my cereal bowl was empty when I started to pour the milk. Woke up early and still super sleepy, went to go take a shower. Stuck my hand, still holding my towel, into the shower to test the water temperature. I've worn socks in the shower before doing the same thing. I spent hours making chicken soup from scratch. A whole raw chicken, herbs, chunks of veggies, all simmering away to make the perfect soup possible. When it was finally ready, I set a strainer in the sink, poured it in, and watched as my beautiful soup disappeared down the drain. When I was younger, my mom bought orange juice with pulp and I hated pulp. So making a huge deal out of it, she grabbed the strainer and poured all the orange juice through the strainer into the sink, leaving only pulp. Then she got mad at me. Cracked an egg into the sink and put the shell in my food. I stared at the food for a solid 10 seconds afterwards. I don't know what I expected. I don't know what I expected. I moved houses and it took me a solid two months to stop driving home to my old house. Hey Ma, old man Yuri's here again. Quick, hide in the cabinet. I think we can whack him in the head when he comes through the door. It's just the space guy. Let him be. He'll leave in an hour and 48 minutes. Whenever I take the bus, I roll the tickets up into little tubes, a habit I've had since I was a kid. On several occasions of autopilot gone completely wrong, I've got off the bus, popped the rolled up ticket in my mouth, reached for a lighter and set it on fire. If you're ever going out with a smoker friend and you guys get hammered, turn a cig in his pack. Autopilot will kick in and you're lighted by the filter. I, I am ashamed to admit I have also done this to myself on more than one occasion. I am a terrible smoker. I used to work 60-ish hours a week when I was a retail manager. And there was one time where I woke up and got dressed, drove an hour and a half to work at 8 a.m. and started preparing to open the store. My co-worker arrived and was very confused as to why I was there. Turns out it was a day off for me and me just autopiloted to work. Here yeah, I've done something similar before. I got home from work, had dinner and fell asleep on the couch. 
I woke up and checked the time on my phone. 7.15. Oh crap, I'm so late for work. So I got ready really quickly and ran out the door. I'm thinking to myself, the neighborhood seems pretty lively for this time of the morning. I was halfway to work before I realized I'd woken up at 7.15 p.m. Not a.m. Idiot. Usually when I drop something, I finish what I'm doing first before I pick the item back up. For example, once, I bought a grilled cheese sandwich, and as I was walking to my table, the entire grilled cheese just slid off the plate onto the floor. Instead of picking it up, I walked to my table first, set my plate down before returning 10 feet to where my sandwich had fallen. I have no idea why, but my brain just autopilots me to finish doing what originally intended to do. Once when I was around 10, I went into the bathroom to take a shower. So I turned on the water, took off my shirt, my pants, shoes and socks and stepped into the shower to let the warm water wash over me. At which point I looked down and wondered why I hadn't removed my underwear. I did that with socks. I couldn't put my finger on it at the time, but I knew something wasn't right. I looked down and BAM! Wet socks in the shower. I carry a bottle of oil-based perfume in my bag and a bottle of eye drops too. Squirted the perfume into my eye. When I was little I was at my grandma's house and wandered into the bathroom and saw her perfume on the counter. I picked it up to inspect it and pointed it right at my face and pressed down on the top so it sprayed right into my little eyes. It hurt and burned so much but I was scared of getting into trouble for messing with grandma's stuff. So I didn't tell anyone and just sobbed into a towel for a while. Don't know if it counts, but I spent hours on a digital drawing where I only had to draw on one side because it was like mirrored in the middle and what I drew on the left ended up mirrored on the right. Later when I went to brush my teeth, I only brushed the left side of my mouth like the other side would automatically get clean too. You could have shot a homemade before after commercial for toothpaste. After a long day, I grabbed my things and left my office. I got down to the metro and tried to scan my card a few times without anything happening. Then I looked down and saw that I was holding a stapler. I had grabbed my stapler instead of my ID badge metro card. I had to explain that to the security guy to let me back in to exchange my stapler for my badge. I have a security card for work and every single day I pull out my debit card and hold it against the scanner for 10 seconds wondering why it isn't working. Then on the way home I stand for 10 seconds wondering why my security pass isn't working on the scanner for the train card. After brushing teeth I was running my mouth. Usually I would look up, gargle, look down, spit. But I looked up and spat and all the toothpaste covered water went all over my face. You just made a 4 hours class very funny. A too funny because I laughed while everyone was tomb silent. Tried to unlock my front door with my car clicker. I laughed at myself. Then tried to unlock my fridge with my work fob. Why did autopilot me think the fridge was locked? I wish our work fridge required a fob to get in. Stolen lunches are no joke. Being able to keep a log of everyone who accessed the work fridge would be so cool. We had an issue with stolen creamer once would have definitely been helpful then. I took the subway from my college to the other side of town to where a girl I was dating lived. I was one stop away when I realized that I was supposed to have transferred twice to get onto the train to go to my parents house about an hour ride north. I'm so confused by the way this is worded. Where were you trying to go? He rode to his GF then realized he was supposed to go to his parents. Every time I walk into my kitchen, I open the fridge, even if I don't plan to eat or cook. In the back of my mind, I always hope I find something amazing to snack on, but I'm always disappointed. I do this all the time. I just open the fridge and look in it for a few seconds, close it, I do the same with the freezer, and then just walk away. I'm a heathen who makes instant coffee. I open up a brand new jar of it, Spooned some into my coffee mug, picked up the kettle and poured the boiling water right into the whole jar of instant coffee. At least that jar of sludge smelled delicious. Getting out the card to pay for something. Putting away your wallet. Using the card. Getting your wallet back out and putting the card away. Wondering why you do this. 
I do this with cash. Take out a 20, put the wallet away, get change. Realize I already put the wallet away. Put change in pocket next to wallet, fix after I leave store. I got contacts about a year ago. Every now and then, if I can't see something clearly, I bring my hand near my ear like I'm going to lift or adjust my glasses. Did, did you just smack yourself in the face? I was pushing up my glasses. You aren't wearing glasses. I know. Shut up. Near daily occurrence for me. Contacts are still pretty new. Got up at 5am like I was going to work. Took a shower, washed my face, brushed my teeth, the whole nine yards. I was off that day and didn't find out until I tried to clock in and the machine wouldn't let me. When I was in middle school and my sisters were in high, our school bus stops were just across the street from our house. The buses came at 7.25 and 7.35. None of us liked getting up that early. If one person overslept, it wasn't an issue, but if two or more did, then there were pile-ups and some shoving as we fought to get ready. Anyway, one morning, I wake up at 7.15. Seeing the time, I go running down the hall to Sister One's room. Sister One! Sister One! Wake up! We overslept and we're going to miss the bus! She rolls over and sleepily mutters, We just switched to daylight savings time. Go back to bed, it's like six something. Feeling stupid, I go back to sleep. I wake up at 7.10. See the time? Go running down the hall to Sister Two's room. Sister Two! Sister Two! Wake up! We're going to miss the bus! Head still buried in the pillow, she wakes up enough to say, Light, go back to bed. It's Sunday. Not my biggest, but very regular. I autopilot out the bread, butter, plate, and a dessert spoon. Then I get to actually spreading the bread and look stupidly at the spoon in my hand. Found my wallet in my sock drawer once. Took me like two weeks and a lot of panic to find it.